When I woke up this morning, all I saw was a sea of red. What should we do? Should we exit crypto? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Divisi Jeremy. I'm in a pipe five by five, even though the market's down. Why? Well, because I've seen this before. I've been here before. It's nothing to worry about. It's only temporary. Yes. It is unfortunate. Didn't see it happening. I thought we were going to be blue skies ahead, but that wasn't the case. So we're going to be talking about why and where, where we're going from here. And when can we see a recovery in the market? So if you're interested in watching all that and also seeing how we can manage this and trade this, you might want to watch all the way to the end, right? Because we're going to do some TA at the end. And if you're interested in trading it, make sure you head over to bybit.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below. Also join my private Telegram group where I'm doing this live, right? For everybody as well. Okay. Well, I'm also playing Medieval Empires and I have some spaces available on some of my land here. Let me just show you some of the slots that are open also on a higher level land right if you want there's some slots available i think uh, right here there's one slot available i'm going to probably make some slots available here as uh, some people are not playing playing so we're going to do that so make sure check out my lands right you see all the mahalas there and you can join this open beta game it's lots of fun i'm playing it all the time okay looking at the the other cryptos oh boy yes it has been a brutal brutal situation but hey you know what we saw a little bit of a pump with the orc on the weekend but yeah the market has decided well you know what we're gonna take this thing down heavily so that's okay this is a good area to be shopping for orc and looking at at waffles coin oof man this is a this is a no-go zone here. We can't break this level because it's pretty disastrous. We'd see this thing come back down to, you know, down below here. So that's not happening. So you can see there's a lot of buyers down in this little area. You could expect Waffles Coin to find the bottom here and start. It's, it's marched back up after the crypto culling is finished. Yes, yes. I think I think we, we've seen the lows, right? And we'll talk about more about that. And, in the future. Same with PayPay. Pay. Oh my God. Right. That's, that's not, that's not, I know it's, it's difficult to look at, but Hey, it is, it, it will come back. We are buying. And if you're interested in buying, this is the time to do so right now. This is a buying the lows. Okay. This is the, the news for today. The links are in the description below. Some of might be talking about, some might will not. Let's start off with us spot, Bitcoin, Ethereum, ETF record, joint outflows for the first time yes the stock market was like the sea of red on friday massive downward movement on, on the stock market which you know also saw you know people taking money out of the good assets which is crypto so that's what happened right people sold their their crypto to cover losses elsewhere and that's that's what we're seeing per specifically for this starting of this crypto culling and red markets everywhere. Uh, another a story which suggests that there's five key elements, a disappointing non-form payrolls data, right? Only 114,000 jobs were, were added. Just keep in mind, if you ever look at the, the statistics, how they come up with the statistics of how people have get jobs, you'd be like, yeah, that's BS. Because they actually come up with well, it's called a birth death model where they make up numbers of how many people, how many jobs actually were created. So probably a large percentage of the jobs are just BS numbers here. Raising recession fears, right? Yes, the recession is is coming, I think. And we might see stock market dump, but then I think crypto will reverse on that. Or we'll do a UNO <laughs> reversal as you know, Bitcoin is poised to take take the lead in this more crypto market. Bitcoin long liquidations, right? Now, a lot of people were long thinking, yeah, that's it. 
were off to blue skies ahead. You know, I really thought that was the case as well. Stock market decline, we already talked about that, and Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF outflows as well. Okay, Peter Schiff slams a debt, the debt repayment plan by Donald Trump. Okay, they want to buy Bitcoin to pay the debt. Did you hear it? That's just get that's to get donations and votes from the Bitcoin community. It's pure BS. I have to agree with that. You cannot pay off a debt with money that's created out of debt with an ass another secondary asset. All you're doing is you're inflating one one asset and then dec- and decreasing the value of the other asset, which is which is the U.S. dollar. So you're not paying off the debt. You're just destroying people's wealth that decides to store it in in the, the U.S. treasuries or the U.S. dollar. Right. Okay. Morgan Stanley to offer Bitcoin ETFs to wealthy clients. CNBC reports the move will take effect on Wednesday and will be opening to clients with the net worth of at least $1.5 million, which is, means only accredited investor gets ripped off <laughs> on this Eat Bitcoin ETF. Yes, they, they reserve right, um, everything, all these banks and even the stock market. In order to, to play, you got to have big money, right? And, and they, they're obviously playing against you. So this is why, you know, crypto is, you know, the DGEN area is so popular because now you could actually play and maybe get a, a big win. And I think both work. And uh, Waffles and PayPay will ta- take you to the big win, right? If you're patient, right? Because everybody wants to, to, to have the big win today. Okay, great place to trade, of course, is bybit.davincij15.com, right? Link is in the description below. All right, well, I really think we can see Bitcoin bounce here. This is an overextended move here. You can see that the four hours well below the Bollinger Band. We won't be surprised if we come a little bit further down and then continue going higher. If that's the case, right, I have some buying down here because I don't trust this. I think there might be a chance where we just go boom and then, and then take off. Yes, I do have a long here inside because this was over, way overly extended. I started buying in this area when I saw that this morning that hey, this was just was ridiculously overextended. So yeah, I started taking long positions here. So yeah, you could also take long positions here as well. But be advised that this could come back and retest two thousand one hundred and fifty ish dollar area. So be prepared for that. Looking at Shiba, oh my god, man, we're right back to. 88.6. Don't be surprised if this is the, the bottom here. Usually that's 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 the case with these type of uh, cryptocurrencies. We'll see them come back to the 88.6 and then bounce from there, especially if we're still in a bull market. So we can see that it'll continue going higher. Looking at Solana, Solana, it's interesting. Solana has not um, broken its support level just yet. Let's hope it holds its support level. This is not looking so good but let's just see what happens if we can bounce off the support level then solana can finally take out the and head over to the the, you know to the this to the 269 dollar area approximately but it looked like it was looking like it was going to go but it didn't quite make it over like everything else hopefully it does this time around but you know you never know because uh, the government is involved here, they know that they know that if you use crypto, you'll find freedom from them, and if that happens, they will lose control. So they are here to ensure the prices go down. But if you hold on to it, you buy and hold on, and you take possession, you're in the driver's seat. They're going to eventually lose that battle. Because crypto is limited. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I did. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Well, maybe not tomorrow. Actually, because I'm traveling. (laughs) All right. Cheers.